Good afternoon, and it's a pleasure to see everyone again. MBA students at TCU's Neely School of Business wrapped up a tough semester where they learned real world experience is a great teacher. When we started this project, we were charged to look at the watering process in all your stores. Working in small teams, graduate students served as consultants to area businesses that faced a problem. This was an opportunity for us to take the classroom and the textbooks and put it in real life. The Neely School calls this class experiential learning. The students spend some time in class, but most of their work takes place in the field. Each team presented its plan to the business it was linked to, in this case a Fort Worth-based nursery, Callaway's, with 23 stores in Texas. I think we're going to look at the bedding plants first. To me it gives them an advantage with a real running start. Instead of saying I took a course and I got a good grade, they can say, I went into an organization and I solved a real problem. Serving Texas gardeners for 21 years, Callaway's Nursery sells plant and garden products at stores in Fort Worth, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, and Austin. Callaway's challenged the team to develop a standard operating procedure for irrigation. Mind if I ask you a couple quick questions? To save water and reduce stock loss and give customers more individual service. About how many hours do you think are are spent to get the watering done. You can read all day about what it's going to be like, but until you actually get out here and get your hands dirty and actually do a project, you, you have no idea of what, what to expect. Getting down to the root of the problem was really just finding their their control systems on how they, they did their watering. Do you always do hand watering? The students work professionally as Neely and Associates consultants. I think we're the only school that has a director of experiential learning that goes out and understands the real problems that businesses are facing and then brings that back and puts together a student consulting team. It's not overly watered, but it's, it's got enough moisture in there. Area businesses actually hired these Neely School MBA students. And this semester, Callaway's, along with six other wide-ranging companies, turned to the student consultants. You see the way they've got the medium light signs and the low light signs? We also have volunteer business leaders who come in and work with our students to provide industry expertise. It's a real team approach. They took a look at our project, pointed us in new directions, gave us some pointers on how we could better maintain our time and hit the milestones that we're seeking to get. It just kind of better prepares them, it matures them in a way that they can't mature in a classroom. For three months, the Neely consultants analyzed operations and strategized to fine-tune an action plan. Uh, they basically did all their watering from 7 to 9 a.m. Bits and pieces of our past backgrounds could be used on the project, and we actually got to learn from each other. Every step of the way along this project, we have talked to the Board of Callaways, run our ideas by them, shown them what direction we're going in, just to make sure that what we're doing is what they want us to do. When they do get hired, they are going to be possibly more efficient, more productive, more attuned to organizational dynamics than they, they would by not having gone through the experience. Back in the boardroom. Now that you've heard all our recommendations, we have a timeline. Callaway's leaders liked what they heard. They did great. It was fantastic. It was a great experience for Callaway's. We're very excited about the return we're going to get our, on our investment. Here. We're small, we're intimate, we're personal. And we can take our students out into a real world setting in a way that large schools can't. In looking at graduation, this is a great thing to put on a resume. Um, that you've had a project like this, that you had this experience because different jobs are going to look for that. Two team members believe the new experiential learning class helped them find their dream career before graduation. I was extremely fortunate enough to be extended an offer by Goldman Sachs in New York City. I'm going to be working as a commodity manager for American Airlines. It's been a great engagement overall and hopefully uh, this project will actually uh, bear some fruit in the future. I'm Karen Kelly reporting.